God damn, I need a haircut. But anyway, today we want, I wanted to talk about this uh, interaction that Matt Walsh had. So Matt Walsh spoke at a committee in Tennessee um, in support of a bill that would ban so-called um, gender affirming care for minors. So you might ask yourself, what is gender affirming care for minors? It sounds good, right? So what they mean by gender affirming care for minors is they mean introducing puberty blockers and um, cross sex hormones to minors, which never been used on minors like this before. Um, they mean removing um, genitals from minors. Um, if you're a boy, they will remove your genitals if you think you're a girl. And if you're a girl, uh, this gender affirming care is stuff like uh, double mastectomies. Um, so this is not really care, in my opinion. Uh, so, yeah, so Matt Walsh spoke at this committee. And I just wanted to go over a couple of clips I clipped off from this, this full um, hearing. So I'll leave it in the, the full hearing in, in the uh, box below. So I really encourage you to check out the full the full um video so i so this first clip is just the his introduction so i'm going to play that right now hey, just a quick question for you we've heard in the news last week and even today that it's pro-life to vote against this bill we've heard that um suicides are prevalent and uh, suicide has impacted my family, so I'm sensitive when I hear something like that. I, I, I've, I've read some of the stuff that you've done, and I was wondering, can you speak to the statistics of, of uh, mental health and suicidal tendencies for the people who have gone through transition or for people who have not? In your studies, from what I've read, can you, can you speak to that? Mr. Sure. Walsh, you recognize <laughs> Sure. Uh, well, the claim that, uh, you know, doing the chemical castration drugs or surgery or hormonal intervention, the claim that this prevents suicide or uh, has uh, positive psychological effects down the line is utterly, totally baseless. Um, there are no credible long term studies that bear that out. And one of the reasons for that is that there couldn't possibly be any credible long term studies because we've never done this to kids on this scale ever before in history. So this current, uh, shall we say, crop of children, they are the guinea pigs. This is, this is all experimental. We're sort of trying it out on them to see if it works. Yep, so what, what Matt Walsh said in that, in that clip there is 100% correct. Um, if you have kids and you're, in, and you're in, uh, encouraging this kind of stuff, this delusion that they are the opposite gender, your kids are the test dummies. Your kids are the, the studies. Um, because these these kind of things was never done in history to kids at this rate that, that it, well not even at the rate it's never been done. These 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 cross sex hormones and uh, puberty blockers and all this stuff that that's going on with kids has never been done to a group of kids in the in in history before. So it it is no long term studies because it can't be. This stuff is this stuff have. It's very recent that they've been doing this kind of stuff to kids. So if at if you're a parent, ask yourself: Is the it? Do you want your kids to be the test dummies in this thing, in this whole, in this whole woke, uh, leftist ideology that 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 that's harmful to your kids, that caused permanent damage to your kids? I mean, if you're a boy, if you if you have a son. And he come to you and say that he want to be a girl. Are you gonna go through with the surgery that to remove his male parts? Or if you're a, if you have a daughter, are you gonna remove her breast because she said she feel like a boy? I mean, like, what kind of parents? What kind of parents don't have the the sense and and the the guidance? to show their kids what what reality actually is. I mean, that's your job as a parent to lead your kids. That's your job as a parent to to raise your kids. You're you're not supposed to be get you're not supposed to be getting raised by your kids. And that's what a lot of these these parents are doing now. 
like you see a lot of these these Hollywood actors and people in in the mainstream like a lot of them have like two trans kids or two one trans kid and one non-binary kid whatever I mean that 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 is so rare that there is no way that happened by coincidence these kids are being indoctrinated these kids are being put this this whole lifestyle has been pushed on kids and it's very obvious by just just look at look at what the culture push everything is about that so why wouldn't kids grow up to want to be that if that that's encouraged so heavily in mainstream culture is is encouraged i mean disney disney came out and said they have a gay agenda like out in the open <laughs> so this is obviously an agenda it's obviously something that's been pushed on kids and is a a, a dangerous um deadly path to lead kids down in this next clip i want to play is, is uh somebody from the committee tries to catch matt walsh and kind of a gotcha but it doesn't end well take a look I found it, uh, thank you mr walsh i found it interesting one of our uh um people uh, testified today that they uh had their gender affirming surgery at 16 and i know uh you in former comments mentioned uh, this uh, on your blog at about 16 you're an adult who's mature and can make decisions uh, you're that at 16. I don't care what anybody says. Even going so far as to say, you know, 16 people. Uh, when you're 16, you should be married and uh, and could be pregnant or should be pregnant. Um, so I'm curious if 16 is uh, a uh, an adult in your view. Uh, why does this bill have uh, the uh, minor de defined as 18? Uh, Mr. Well, that's, uh, yeah, that's that's a hit piece you took from Media Matters, uh, from something when I was a, a radio host. Uh, 13, 14 years ago, in my early 20s. Uh, it's also not an accurate reflection of what I actually said. Um, I was talking about uh, the fact that people tended to marry young historically, and that's all that that was about. Um, how does that relate to, the, to this subject? Just curious of your definition of, of if you feel like people are adults at 16, should. Well, uh, people are adults is... at 18. Uh, but actually, your, your brain is not fully developed until you're 25. So we should be having a conversation about whether we should even be doing these surgeries to people at 18. But certainly before 18, it's, it's absurd. I mean, do, do, you, do you think that a 16-year-old can meaningfully consent to having their body parts removed? Do, do you? No? We do not. Yeah, we ask the questions. It's not. It's. Uh, okay. Representative Hammer, you are recognized. No more questions. So yeah, you saw that. So the guy tried to try to take the whole con the whole conversation to something that Matt Walsh said when he was in his twenties. Um, was basically just saying that that people used to marry young when, uh, historically used to marry young. So, that was a great comeback from Matt, but the the. The best part of this was at the end when he asked the guy, do he think it's okay to do this kind of stuff to kids? And the guy just went completely silent and nobody said anything. <laughs> like, because this, this stuff is impossible to defend. They, they try to wrap it in these nice words, gender affirming care. But if you ask these people to their face, do you think it's okay to do this to kids? They, if they say yes, they, they will look insane because they are insane these are insane frick crazy people that's trying to mute that that's okay with mutil mutilating kids and permanently damaging kids for whatever reason whatever the reason is is not good all right i got one more clip to play check it out um can you give us a summary of your educational background or your health care education experience M mr walsh you recognized my experience in healthcare, your educational background. I'm just curious. You 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 yeah. testified as to a lot of your own research. So I'm curious for what purpose you do that and what background you have to qualify you to speak to that. Well, my Ms. background Ms. that qualifies me to speak to this is that I'm a human being with a brain and common sense, and I have a soul. And so, therefore, I think it's a really bad idea to chemically castrate children. That is my experience. Um, also, I I did. Now it's true. I didn't. I didn't go to college, but I did go to school long enough to learn how to read 
so I can read the data for myself, and that's exactly what I've done. Uh, Representative Clements, you're And for what purpose do you um, conduct your research and use this brain of yours? Mr. Walsh, you're recognized. I use it for the purpose of trying to protect children from being castrated and mutilated. That's one of the things I try to do. You don't use it Clements. to... Thank you, Mr. Chairman. You don't use it to get clicks on your publication? It. Well, are you using it right now to try to get clicks with this interaction? On, no. I, 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 I really like the Mr. idea Walsh. of getting, uh, of, of drawing attention to the fact that this is happening to children. I know you seem to find it very amusing. I don't. So, yeah, the guy's like, did you, did you, uh, could you show us your uh, credentials to talk on this uh, subject? And Matt Walsh just like, I don't need I don't need a degree to tell you that it's wrong to chemically castrate kids. And that's exactly right. You don't need a degree to tell when something is wrong. Like you don't need you don't need a degree to tell to tell you that it's wrong not to kill people. So why do you need a degree to tell you that it's wrong and to, to tell you that kids don't have the don't can't consent to being permanently chemically castrated? Or making life altering decisions. I mean, kids can't even, kids aren't allowed to drink. Kids aren't allowed to do drugs. Kids aren't allowed to drive. I mean, under, if you're under 18, you can't even have, you, like, you can't have a gun, but you can permanently alter your body and permanently make, make permanent decisions where you can't have kids later. Like, this whole thing is so stupid. Kids cannot consent to this stuff. That's what parents are there for, and if and good parents, if if you're a parent and you do this kind of stuff to your kids, you need to be locked up. Um, is no is, I don't care that I don't care you say that the parents, um, don't know and all this stuff. No, if you if you introduce puberty blockers and cross sex hormones to your kids, that is um abuse. And, in my opinion, you should have enough sense in your head to tell you that that is not what your kid need and that is not helpful to your kid. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one.